You're seeing this because you press the help button on the first page of the program. DOT's vision for creating this resource was that hydraulic engineers should be able to do their part in DOT's mission. Uh, please note our mission statement uh, over here, this uh, nice little blue plaque. Um, notice that first of all the department creates safe transportation systems, but notice also that down here we also, uh, it's important to us to preserve the quality of our environment and communities. Things don't make it into the DOT's mission statement unless they're important. And it's important to the DOT that in the process of doing our statutory duty, we not harm the environment. Therefore, we're providing this training, we're providing this program, and we're available to answer questions as hydraulic engineers do the required analyses uh, to ensure that we don't hurt the environment uh, through the pursuit of our work program. Because we're going to be using this, this tool for permitting, uh, we've been careful to interact with the regulatory community, uh, with consultant engineers, uh, to where what, we're, what you're about to see in this program uh, enjoys widespread acceptance. We don't need uh, further battles um, across the permitting table. Uh, we, we all know what it's like to permit with the water management districts, and it's important that we be on the same page with them. Again, because this product is going to be used in a permitting environment and in the midst of production, it's appropriate that it be nimble, uh, that it not be laborious to use, uh, because the, the production environment is one of quick moving, and uh, we, we simply um, have to be able uh, to deliver a, a product succinctly. The BMP Trains program uh, calculates the average annual nitrogen and phosphorus uh, loadings in the pre- and post-development condition. It can, it can examine a, a single BMP. It can examine a number of BMPs uh, working together. Most importantly, perhaps, it's targeted to Florida hydrology. Uh, Florida has a unique hydrology. Uh, we have significant variation north, south, east, and west. Uh, rainfall is different throughout Florida, and uh, a, a huge benefit of this approach is that that hydrology is captured. Uh, the average conditions were derived by long-term numerical modeling. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's a look over time at, at the rainfall, at the response to rainfall with runoff. Uh, BMPs, depending upon hydrology, will respond differently, and those differences are captured. Uh, in, in this program. Lastly, the program includes the latest uh, technology uh, tools that we have for, for treating runoff. Uh, this is important. It's, uh, the, the, the scene is changing all the time. New tools are coming on board. Uh, better understanding of old tools is coming on board. And so this, this program captures the latest science. The acronym and we work hard at our acronyms. Uh, best management practices, uh, treatment, removal on an annual basis involving nutrients in stormwater. And as you can see, there's multiple configurations of, uh, of, of nodes and reaches, flows, catchments uh, that, that can be uh, entered in, into the model. So, so why do we do nutrient-based design? Well, first of all, it's required. Anytime we're, do, we're permitting construction in nutrient-impaired waters, uh, we have to show, as part of our responsibility in, in, in permitting, that we are not adding more of the pollutant of concern than when we showed up to build the project. Uh, excess nutrients degrade Florida waters. That's a picture of canoeing, and uh, I don't see any motorized boats, but that's a picture of a nice recreational activity along the St. John's River. Um, if, we, if we degrade Florida waters, uh, we've lost something precious. Uh, what makes Florida, Florida, is our beautiful waters. Uh, everybody is in the water in Florida. And, and uh, we, if, if we degrade those waters, if we compromise the function of those waters, we basically degrade the, quarter, degrade the quality of life in Florida and not only does it hurt the citizenry uh, in, in the sense of, the, of their general well-being, but economically we'll suffer as tour, tourism drops if, if we don't watch uh, the care of our Florida waters. Uh, waters are meant to be a beautiful blue color like that. Uh, if, if we get out of balance with, with the, uh, 
With the nutrients, the biological balance is disturbed. We can get algal blooms, fish kills. Um, we can hurt our coral reefs. Uh, we can um, cloudy our springs. And if we lose those delightful water bodies, um, we've lost a major part of what makes Florida so nice. So, so why a treatment train? Well, the, the nature of highway construction is to add significant impervious area. It's part of what we do. Uh, we, we add a ribbon that people drive on. And, and because of the additional impervious, there's always significant additional runoff. And, and many times we cannot, with the additional runoff, uh, remove enough nutrients to get back to the pre-development condition. Many times also we have to have multiple BMPs in series because our right-of-ways are, are narrow by nature. Um, we, we try to minimize right-of-way impacts because of cost and disturbance to the community. So, so in, in, intrinsically, our right-of-way is narrow. Uh, many of you all may remember recent discussions about commingling of off-site inflows. Uh, it is much cheaper for us and it is typically better for the environment if we take runoff off-site that's flowing to us and that we must take if we bring that into our system and treat it. Um, and and this, this program will evaluate that. Uh, very helpfully, this program also allows easy comparison of different approaches. Um, typically, any time we can avoid buying right-of-way, we save money. And, uh, and, and so the idea is, is to do uh, the responsible required treatment and to do it in, in the way that's the least cost, costly to the taxpayer. Now, if any of you have ever done these computations by hand, which I have, you will be very, very happy to have a program. Uh, there, there are a number of tables, a, a number of interpolations. Uh, this is painful to do by hand. Uh, you're welcome to try. I've been there. I'm going to use the program. And it, it allows us to easily quantify annual loadings. Uh, the, the, the lookups, the, the interpolations are all internal, uh, and it combines information from a number of sources. Uh, you, can, you can look at the different BMPs available make a, a sound decision. Uh, and as I said before, the, the, one of the, the, the greatest strengths is that Florida meteorology and the different land uses and the different soil responses are, are in this program already. And if you do hit an unusual condition, you can change the default values for EMCs. Uh, you can create uh, user BMPs that, uh, that, that perhaps are unique. And the user manual is well written and helpful. We're we're grateful in in that um, this has been this is a very very useful product. Again, if you've ever done this by hand, uh, you're going to be really happy to uh, to see how easy this is uh, with a computer program like this. Uh, we've worked hard with the water management districts and DEP, uh, the the academy, uh, Dr. Wanalista. Has, has integrated with them uh, to where they're very well aware and have had great input uh, of what's in this program. There's been numerous workshops around the state in the last six months. Those workshops add to our wisdom about what fits the user's needs. Uh, we're, we're, we thank you, those of you who have participated in that. Uh, we're very grateful to Dr. Harper. Um, there were methodologies around for trying to get at nutrient removal. Uh, trying to make sure that nutrient-impaired basins were not degraded. Uh, those methodologies were coarse. Uh, Dr. Harper's report in 07, uh, in, in my thinking, was a, was a breakthrough in that we, we finally had a logical, uh, science-based uh, approach to looking at annual nutrient loading. There will always be discussions about the EMCs, about you know, whether they're right or not, additional data, There'll always be discussions about whether the BMP removal rates are right, um, but but Dr. Harper gave us a tool that that had a logic to it that that was common sense, and uh, uh, the, the, the the DOT is extremely grateful to Dr. Harper and his work there. Uh, the the academy for many years, uh, the academy which produced this this uh, this program for many years has has been in the forefront 
of, of creating better environmental stewardship at a, at a, at a reduced cost. Um, they have, have been uh, in, in the lead as far as protecting Florida's waters. And uh, we're extremely grateful to them. And lastly, um, Dr. Juan Alista, for multiple decades, has, has been in a place of leadership uh, in stormwater. In, in, in the thinking of most, he's the father of stormwater in Florida. And uh, we'll always be grateful for his leadership, uh, both in this program and, and well beyond this program. And lastly, uh, we want to thank you for using the model. Uh, do try the, the many help buttons, uh, tinker around. Uh, there's a lot of gold out there in, in, in those buttons. Um, if you want any updates, uh, please register at the website uh, shown here, the Stormwater Academy website. And if you have any comments on the model as you use it, uh, please contact Dr. Marty and myself. Uh, we appreciate your feedback. Uh, thank you for using the model, and uh, we hope you in, in enjoy not having to do it by hand.